Hi, this is Shahida Hill of Maximum One Realty Atlanta. Today I'm going to share with you a lender video that I took at one of my home buyer seminars. And it was from Jay Alexander of Homestar Financial. And I like for my clients to you know, get an idea ahead of time from the lenders what they're looking for and how they can, you know, work their credit to make sure that they uh, um, qualify for the program. And he gives you some good insight. Now, it wasn't one of my seminars. So I wasn't, you know, planning to record it. I just recorded a short segment of what he was saying. But both Jay and Nicole, Nicole are the two lenders that I send out to um, people that contacted me about the Georgia Dream so they can get pre-qualified. Um, Nicole has um, done my own mortgage in the past and so has Jay Alexander. And it's important to me that I am referring you all to people that I trust. And people that I know will get the job done for you guys. So please watch the video with Jay Alexander. If you have any questions about anything that he says, please put it in the comments. You can give me a call. All my contact information is below. And of course, download the Georgia Dream checklist so you know exactly what you need to do to qualify for the Georgia Dream program. Thank you so much. Watch the video here. And when it ends, if you have any questions, definitely ask me. Thank you so much. No company's going to lend on something that's just beat up. You can't do. You know, it needs to be moving ready. You're pretty close to moving ready. Um, so that usually takes care of itself. So the key items that you're responsible for for down payment assistance. Well, the whole point of that is you, know, you don't have a whole bunch of money saved up for a down payment. So you know the house should be in decent shape. You've got down payment assistance to cover your down payment. So the parts you control are your income and your credit. Okay. There are a bunch of down payment assistance programs out there. They have lots of rules on income limits. You can't make too much income. So you've got to like hit this perfect gap of, I've got to make enough money to qualify, but not too much where I get outside of the program. Georgia Dream's really aggressive with how much money you can actually make. Make sense? So that's why we say it's aggressive with income. It also goes down as low as a 640 credit score, which is pretty good for credit. Okay. Um, so those are kind of the key numbers that we look at when we try to get you qualified for Georgia Dream, or really any loan program, but especially for Georgia Dream. Uh, we're going to look at credit, see if we can get you up to a 640. Um, you know, if you're there, great. If you're higher than that, even better. Um, the other thing Georgia Dream does is it steps up. So, you know, between a 640 and a 680, you have to make a certain amount of income to qualify. Well, above a 680, you can make a little bit less income and still qualify because they're more aggressive with how much you can get approved. Makes sense. Then up over a 700, they're super aggressive with how much you can qualify for based off your income. Okay. So it's a, it's a staggered scale and it's knowing those guidelines and rules that make, you know, kind of gives us an idea of where you want to be. Um, so income and credit are the two biggest pieces with Georgia Dream. Um, like Shahida mentioned, there's a, um, uh, it is the hardest hit fund, the HHF, is available in Douglas County. It's available in a few other counties in the metro area, area as well. Uh, but it's $15,000 that we can use to cover your down payment and or closing cost on a transaction. Um, that money is forgiven after you lived in the home for five years. Okay, so you don't have to pay it back. Now, if you move out four years and 11 months later, you have to pay all 15,000 back. There's no half or five or anything like that. It's either you pay all back or you don't pay any of it back. And it's all based off five years, okay? So that's how that works. Um, there is technically a limited number, but everything we're hearing is that they keep finding money for this program because it's been such a success. I mean, it makes sense, right? It's $15,000 that gets forgiven. So um, that number of having about 400 loans left, it's stayed there for about the last six months. And I know people have closed loans. So what happens is they keep finding money to um, fund the program. Uh, does that mean that the program won't go away at the end of this year? It, it very likely could be, or more importantly, uh, what probably will happen is they'll eventually pull the county off the list that you want to purchase in. So like when they first started the program, Paulding and Gwinnett County were both available for hardest hit fund money. They're no longer eligible for the program. So you can't get the $15,000 if you're buying in Paulding or Gwinnett, where originally when it was launched, you could. Uh, as an example, Cobb County has never been on the list. So no one can buy a home in Cobb County for the hardest hit fund money. We have other programs we can do and other things we can look at. Okay, um, so the biggest thing we look at with Georgia Dream is, you know, making sure you qualify from a credit and income standpoint, and then the other piece is to make sure you're not over the income limit on the loan. Okay, Georgia Dream is really, really strict about household income, 
And so we're, it's not just who's on the loan, it's everybody that lives in the house. You have a 19 year old son that still lives with you and works a job, his income counts. You have a parent or grandparent that lives with you and they draw a social security check, that income counts against your overall household income limit. Make sense? So we have to look at all income sources and make sure we're below the income limit. As long as we are below the income limit, but we make enough money to qualify and we've got the credit score to get approved for the loan, then it's just a matter of getting a loan application and stepping through the paperwork and making it all happen. Uh, the biggest piece about the credit score, just I always tell this to people, it's more than just the score itself, okay? Um, technically, so let's step away from Georgia Dream for a minute. Let's talk about it, just a generic FHA loan. Um, we go down as low as a 580 credit score on standard FHA, okay? Uh, with that said, I talk to people that have a 660 credit score and they don't qualify. And I've talked to people that have a 580 and they do, okay? It's not just the score, it's what's in the body of credit. Sure. Past bankruptcies, foreclosures, did we go six months late on a car recently? You, you get the idea. Things like that all play a factor into qualifying for the house. But, uh, but with that said, those are the key measurements or the initial measurements we're looking at for Georgia Dream is we're going to look at income, we're going to look at credit score, see where you stand, and then see what we need to do. If we qualify now, fantastic. If we don't qualify now, then what do we need to do to get in a place where we do qualify? Make sense? Yeah. Um, you do have to be a first-time home buyer for Georgia Dream, meaning that no one has owned a piece of property in the last three years. In the state of Georgia or overall? Overall. Can't have owned property at all in the last three years to do Georgia Dream. Now, if that's an issue, let's say we're over an income limit or we, you know, one of the things Georgia Dream always asks for is three years of tax returns. The reason they ask for that is they want to see if you've written off any mortgage interest because that's a telltale sign that you've owned a piece of property, right? So if we have that scenario where we you know, don't qualify from a first-time home buyer standpoint or over the income limit, then we have other programs out there. Right now we have a new, um, it's a conventional loan, 100% financing, no mortgage insurance conventional loan that we can do. As much more aggressive income limits, you can make more money and you can get into the loan. It's technically two loans, just like Georgia Dream. It's a 97% first and a 4% second. You're not gonna get the full 15,000. That money will have to be paid back. It's probably not as good a program as the hardest hit fund, but it is available, okay? So the key is we've got buckets, I'll call it, or potential options for people, regardless, or, you know, we can fit a bunch of scenarios. It's a matter of seeing what your individual file looks like and then figuring out from there what's the best program that you fit into as far as purchasing a home.